Let's go. We need to change Mari-san's heart. about the wait we're here to kick ass and You either eat or be eaten! 
Whoa, what's with all the food? <gasps> I... Now's not the time to stop Would you care to join me? Here she comes! Get ready! Let's 
shoulder all of this alone the staff member who took bribes the councilman who tried to set you up even the girl who died in the accident <sighs> each of these things grieved you and in order to make a city where none of it could reoccur you took action as you saw fit am i right as the mayor i know very well that little girl's death was ultimately my fault but my staff betrayed me, all for their insatiable greed. I thought I could leave that awful position behind. Unfortunately, it wasn't as simple as that. 
Had I gone, I'd only be replaced by greedy scum. That's why I never step down. In this world, it's either eat or be eaten. And with circumstances so cruel, I decided I'd be the one doing the eating. Even if every last one of my votes were false, at least I could use them to make the world a better place. But if I was replaced as mayor, who would be there to honor that little girl's memory? An innocent girl lost her life, yet I could do nothing to stop the evil still afoot. It's not too late to set this right. First, you must tell the people everything that happened. Then can you get a fresh start. But this time, on your own strength. That would be... impossible. I cooperated with those awful men to hide the truth. That way I could continue being mayor. There's nothing I can do. <sighs> Stand up, Mariko Hyodo! <sighs> Are you just going to stay knocked down? You are a kind and strong woman, not someone who collapses over mistakes. So stand up and hold your head up high, because no matter how many times you fall, you can always get back up and start again. Isn't that... Yes. You said that to me a long time ago. Even if you told the people the truth about the incident, there are those who would still see the good in you. Don't let your position ruin you. Think back to what you stood for. She's right, Mayor. You can't give up. If you tell everyone your side of things, they'll listen. When my father died, I felt like my heart was going to break. But thanks to the Phantom Thieves, I was able to stand strong and move forward. That's why I know you can too. Remember the part of you that taught me to get back up, no matter how many times I fall. Yes. You're right. Thank you, Haruka. What I've done was wrong. I drove my employees to the brink and used a strange power to manipulate the votes. I was so driven by my personal agenda, I lost sight of how I originally felt and why I ran for mayor in the first place. To make a city beloved by everyone. To give back to the home where I was raised. That's reason enough to take another step. I won't make this mistake again. I never needed this power from the start. Haruchan, you've grown so much. Your father must be so happy in heaven. Mari-san. Happy? That took us quite a while. Haru, you were fantastic. It was only because you were all with me. But I do wonder if Mari-san will be okay. I'd say so. Her shadow disappeared like they always do. Yeah, your feelings definitely reached her. I'm sure her heart has changed for the better. Well, I guess this wraps up the mission. We still need to confirm that the citizens are all back to normal. It'd be nice if we could do that right away. Can we grab something to eat first? I'm hungry enough to pass out here. He has a point. Battles can't be fought on an empty stomach. The battle's already over, but still. Hey, can we try Genghis Khan? That delicious lamb barbecue dish? Ooh, that's a must in Hokkaido. What? I thought we were finally getting lobster hot pot. Since when did we decide that? Why would we when it's so damn hot out? But if you think about it, isn't Genghis Khan also sort of like Hot Pot? No way! Isn't it supposed to be barbecue? 
Well, cooking Genghis Khan does require a utensil called a Genghis Khan pot. And you can't barbecue in a pot. True. Though sukiyaki is served hot pot style, its etymology does refer to grilling. I wonder why. Does it even matter? <laughs> Too. I thought you might be weighed down by all that's happened. Indeed. She was so weighed down that she met up with our leader for a private midnight chat. Huh? Were you watching? Okay, I've got it. 